But standing at the end of the table when Keith Reeves held baby Barrett for us up to for us to see, I forgot all that. All the preparation didn't matter anymore. I was aware only of Sybil and of seeing baby Barrett for the first time. All fathers say the same thing. There's nothing else like it. Lean over to your wife and say, here's our baby. And for her to say, yes, that's our baby. There's nothing else like it. There's nothing more one can say. Nothing one needs to say. He's beautiful and big. He's 13 pounds, 7 ounces. <laughs> Sybil was in the recovery room talking to her mother on the phone. Yes, would you believe it? She continued, 13 pounds, 7 ounces, and 32 inches long. I can't remember. Believe it. I hesitantly interrupted to say, Sybil, I think Barrett is 7 pounds and 13 <laughs> ounces, not 13 pounds and 7 ounces. And I think the nurse said he is 22 inches long, not 32. <laughs> Well, 13 or 32, it doesn't matter. I can't believe it. Every parent knows she is right. You can't believe it. It expands your sense of incredulity beyond anything you've known before. Johann Sebastian Bach wrote thousands of pieces of music and fathered 22 children. I've sometimes thought it was all that birth that drove him to write all that music. There's old J.S. Bach trying with fugues and sonatas and jigs and jigs and toccatas and preludes and cantatas and chorales and sarabands, frantically writing thousands and thousands of them, seeking all the time to do in music what he could not do in words. You have ample voice to his sense of incredulity over each one of those 22 babies. It reminds me of Hannah Arendt. Hannah Arendt was a philosopher. And she argued that natality takes precedence, precedence over mortality. Birth has precedence over death. It's a shocking claim, really, especially given Arendt's work with Martin Heidegger who talks everywhere about our being toward death. That's the situation of human beings for Martin Heidegger. We are being toward death. And we had best not forget it, but we invariably do. Arendt learned that from Heidegger, and after she learned it, she spent 20 years thinking about the Holocaust that wholesale manufacture of death that threatens to blot out any sense of possibility for goodness in life. But despite all that death and all that thinking about life from the point of death, a wreck seized on natality. Birth is fundamental. She said that birth is the great fact. It is the great yes. The irreducible and inexhaustible yes by which the no's are to be measured. And when so measured, all the many no's in our lives are found unequal to, incommensurate with, the yes. On the night of New Year's Day, 1980, on that night, I would have had no trouble believing Hannah Arendt. And to tell you the truth, it would have taken all the music of Bach and all the elegant arguments of all the Hannah Arendt's, and I would still not have been able to give ample voice to this fundamental reality, the birth of our baby. Thank you.